Now make sure to keep your seats and table trays in the upright position for the oh. remainder of this episode. Oh god, my ears are popping. <laughs> Anyways, we finally got on the plane to India last time. Oh, all the movies on board suck. Oh, but all these characters are so good. And that's why we're going to explore the plane. You know, uh, I saw a whiplash on an airplane once, except the stereo for my fucking, like, TV screen was oh. half broken. So I just had a mo- movie about music that just half I couldn't hear. <laughs> cool. I love that we just go up, talk to a baby, and then go straight to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, we should follow that baby. I mean, this happens to me, too, every time I sleep next to a baby in an airplane. Oh my I god. Mean, I guess this did happen on an airplane, in a way. It happened adjacent to an airplane. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so they have to put in characters for the exposition. I see how it is. Lazy writing. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Agreed. Hey, this is what I say to chirps like every time we have to start a recording. So, in the dream world, we actually don't have the ability to fight. Uh, all the characters will say like, Ugh, my stand! It won't come out! And then you just waste a turn. But they had a great idea. They should run away. Yeah, so Kakyoin is the one who has to, like, activate all of these, like, ideas and fleeing. Because, as you remember, in the initial fight in the dream world, Kakyoin is the only smart one, while everyone else is a fool. Man. The dream world is just full of (laughs) callouts. And from your best friends, no less. I mean, I guess Abdol is a fake fortune teller. You think he would have seen the thing coming? <laughs> I can't wait till we have to fight Joseph Stan. <laughs> it's just a bunch of vines. <laughs> <laughs> Thankfully, we don't have to worry about that. Ah, uh, I wouldn't have to hear Joseph's finds come on like an old dick. <laughs> <laughs> Joseph, you use us to masturbate. <laughs> Jesus okay, Christ. Cut that. Cut that. <laughs> <laughs> Instead, his minds are like, uh, I bet you can't get it up. And he's like, I'll prove it. And that's how he has Ch- Josuke. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's because we're in the dream world and there are no limits. This coronavirus isolation is driving all of you mad with horny. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, that's actually the first sign you're infected with the coronavirus. You can't uh, taste things and also insatiable will be horny for JoJo characters. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, unfortunately, um, in this fight, we don't have the back and forth gaslighting of Kakyoin where he knows the baby's evil and no one believes him. (laughs) Like, I'm glad we get to go to the dream world, but I feel like it removes the most entertaining part of this fight, which is Kakyoin versus the rest of his friends and convincing them a month-old baby is evil. Don't worry, he still carves baby stand into his arm. (laughs) Right, just for fun. I don't know, I'm still holding out for the part after the fight. I guess we'll see if that's actually been translated into the game. (laughs) Yeah, you're like, can I take care of that baby for you while we're on the plane? And then you just feed it its own shit. I'm guessing uh, that probably didn't make it into a Nintendo console game. (laughs) We'll find out, I guess. Yeah, it was um, Nintendo of America big against crosses and babies eating shit. Specifically. (laughs) Mm Mm-hmm. Well, before the ESRB, that would have definitely started the ESRB. (laughs) Right, uh, uh, Jack Thompson is like, look at this baby, he's eating shit. (laughs) Well, there's Mortal Kombat, where people are, uh, pulling five rib cages out of people. There's Night Trap, which is, uh, its whole own, uh, thing. And also here, there's weird Japanese men, uh, forcing a baby to eat his own shit. (laughs) Landmark case. 
Just wait until the ESR ESRB notices about Baby's Day Out, the video game. <laughs> I mean, eventually they're gonna figure out about the stupid shit that we're saying, and eventually LPs are gonna be put under the same shit because we clearly can't self-govern the complete garbage that comes out of our mouths. Yeah, uh, it's true. otaku tra trash machines, they have to keep the LPs behind the counter at the game store. <laughs> You have to walk through the saloon doors to get into the back. The only way uh, to watch your LPs is to go into a dark alleyway and find r just the right amount of shady. <laughs> <laughs> so do you think they're all sitting in the same chair? Uh, yes, because they all can only afford three seats in for the row. So they have to share a little bit. Anyways, what if we checked in on this baby after we just beat it to death in the dream? I mean, I'm glad someone finally figured out how to actually perform superposition in the physical world, but I don't think I'm glad that it was the airline companies that actually figured it out. This toilet's doorknob, it says it's occupied, but I really want to go to the bathroom. <laughs> oh my god, another stand! <laughs> So, it took me a while to figure out which one this was. You remember that one where Joseph has the weird growth on his arm? That's this stand. Huh. Oh, I thought this was Midler. Are you sure it's not Midler? I- I'm pretty sure that was like the metal stand, right? That can just transform into anything metal. <laughs> Maybe, I'm not sure anymore, actually. We'll have to wait for its name to pop up. Oh my god. He's going to the pornography section of the airplane. <laughs> Anyways, uh, while we're here, we might have to get some refreshments. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. <laughs> wow. You just go into the employee's area and don't even say a nice good day to them. <laughs> Look, that's because it's been a very bad day, actually. See, that's why most planes have two pilots. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is totally Midler. Eh, maybe you're right. Anyways, uh, this fight, we're gonna destroy <laughs> with facts and logic. Oh, finally. So there are some fights that are easier than others in order to um, in order to beat them via um, the talk command instead of the uh, instead of the fight command, and this is one of them. I like that Kakuin's insult is, "Are you ready?" Like, <laughs> is, is that a diss? Is that an ode? Well, apparently it works better than an actual <laughs> insult. Ugh. Yeah, I like that Jotaro just, like, buys into the thing at the very end where it's like, yeah, I definitely want to fuck you, Jotaro, but I have to kill you. And he's like, oh, yeah, you're so hot. <laughs> and owns her. And I guess you were guys were right. It is Midler. I'm sorry. He's into powerful women. <laughs> but yeah, like... Realistically, it doesn't change anything about how the fight actually goes. You're just picking a different command instead of attack. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it kind of seems like the big problem with this, especially for like a JoJo game, is that it's like the most basic of basic RPG. Yeah. This is cool, though. I don't know what he's doing there, but I love the way that it works. <laughs> he's doing the Cupid Shuffle. He's going left and right. <laughs> It just really seems weird to just have a JoJo game be a generic JRPG instead of a JRPG made for, like, people with two brains. Or, like, with just a weird mechanic, right, where, like, the stand is its own thing. Mm -hmm. You know, like, SMT style, where, like, you're summoning it out or whatever. Oh, okay. Well, 
it's still such a good unintentional uh, comedic thing that they never fully uh, move out of screen. <laughs> right? No, it's good. Oh, this is India music, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Welcome, welcome to India. What the fuck is happening with this music? <laughs> oh, it's going nuts. They're telling us we're going to have a good time here. I wish we had fought that boat guy on the plane. That would have been cool. <laughs> and he's also flooding it. <laughs> this uh, music sounds like they hired one band, but then two other bands also showed up at the same time. <laughs> 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 right, it's a real, like, jam band sort of thing, where one starts going and the other guys just come in from off-screen. Mm -hmm. Whenever I think of India, I, I always think of steel drums. <laughs> Someone loaded up three fucking fruit lo Fruity Loops projects at once. And they're like, oh, this is probably good. Even though it isn't. God, why does everybody in this town look like they've seen shit? I mean, they probably have. Uh, in the JoJo universe, everyone has seen shit. No, if they're not stand users, they can't see anything. <laughs> well, they've seen the effects of in the invisible stands. And I feel like that would almost be a, like even more traumatizing. Yeah, exactly. So anyways, you know, it's been a hard day. We had a horrible time on the flight. It's time to rest up. You know, we have like 47 days left, but I think we'll manage fine. Th no, we won't. Well, why <laughs> because did we... no oh matter where we God. go, <laughs> there's always someone else to fight us. An ominous corrupt future, damn. That's just living in the real world today. <laughs> okay, my big question is why didn't we just fly to Egypt? Um because he said to meet us in India. Okay. <laughs> Dio said so, and he would never lie, and we didn't know that he was in Egypt. Okay, sorry, I forgot. Remember, this is subtle differences to the original. If he wanted to beat us in India, then why did he put people on the plane to kill us? Ugh. Geo's <laughs> just a really bad planner. Like, you know, that's why no one asks him to, like, you know, officiate their wedding or anything. Yeah, all Dio is doing ever since he woke up is just smoking weed in his castle and forgetting everything. <laughs> <laughs> also, I will tell you, this is easily the most frustrating part of the game, because we are going to fight this dude about 20 times. Oh, God. Ah, <laughs> uh, wait a second. I don't think my curse for you was strong enough yet. <laughs> punch me some more. <laughs> it's like, just a second. Can you specifically punch this doll real quick? Um. Did he even take all the stuff out of the minibar in this one? Yeah, but he uh, drank it all instead. <laughs> yeah, he's not wasteful in this one. I left one ointment for us. Classic mini bar staple. Uh, they're gonna charge you like twenty dollars just for that ointment. <laughs> uh, ointment is actually the generic term for cola in this universe. Oh. Cool. Thanks. I guess I'll go to the hotel basement. Look, where else are you going to be able to stock up on ice? <laughs> <laughs> you boobs. Uh, you thunderheads. <laughs> so, this is the actual real fight with him. I can tell it's uh, so much more intense than it has been before. Yeah, we're in the basement and also his creepy doll's here. His doll and this looks like he's ready to play baseball. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a later stand. I don't know, he just looks like a nice young lad. He 
probably just wants a friend, honestly. You know, maybe that's the thing, right? Like, that's the thing we could use in the real JoJo's RPG, is like, a way to try to make friends with all of our enemies. I really hope really that, spice up the story. I hope that idea Avdol had was just, oh, we should hit him more. <laughs> hit, hit him right in the doll. You know, this stand seems really useless if you're just sitting there next to your stand. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, he's actually drinking a glass of water right now, and he's going to make the puppet spit it out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it turns out that Cursed Devo is actually just, like, a washed-up puppeteer who's gone mad. This is a ruined Jeff Dunham. <laughs> Hell, you know what? I think we're close to ruined Jeff Dunham now that he's sinking so low to make a troll-type character. Yeah, he's sinking so low he almost went off-screen. Man, I can't wait until this quarantine is over so YouTube will, like, stop notifying me that Jeff Dunham is still alive and <laughs> ruining everything I love, like the infamous trolls. <laughs> no, you hate the trolls. As soon as somebody else tries to get come for your trolls, you're like, no, I love the trolls. Make up your damn mind. <laughs> Anyways, we're in a new location, so of course there's a new bathroom. Uh, the real Cursed Evo is here dead. You know, like, trolls with me, we have a bit of a friendly rivalry going on, like, uh, Dio and Jonathan. You know what I like about when they do their business is that they give the two shake. Mm hmm I like that all- everybody's there watching. Right. But only one man's pissing. Right. Like, Polnar F's giving Joseph some pee tips. Abdolf's like, oh, it's a great color. <laughs> Kakuin's phoning his doctor, telling him, yeah, it's fine. Don't worry. <laughs> Jotaro's like, why don't you just sit down to pee? That's how I do it. <laughs> Anyways, now that we uh, have gone through the fight, I think it's time to relax a little bit up on the roof. There's apparently a great scenery here. And we almost made it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. No, so I'm not just... surprised. No, you're not. Was he just faking being dead in the bathroom? Was he like, oh god, if I <laughs> hold really still, they won't notice? Uh, that was actually his doll. <laughs> yeah, he left his doll to pee. I just need to say, this guy needs a hobby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He could do something else, you know? Oh my god! He was... a... goo all along- oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you remember this guy? Well, thanks for that, I guess. So wait, does he have two stands? No, this man is the acid stand, he just pretended to be the other guy. Yeah, this oh, okay. is like the blob. You know, the guy yeah. who pretends to be like Kakyoin, mm -hmm. and is way more interesting than the real Kakyoin. Yeah, this time he pretends to be a dead guy we just saw on the toilet. He does it to make me, specifically, very angry while I played this game. Wait, but I thought we just ki Oh, man. No, he ran away. <laughs> Thankfully, he dropped his room key, so now we're gonna steal from his minibar. Yeah, he can't even get it to his room right now. <laughs> He's like, oh, shit, where'd I leave it? <laughs> so I know this is probably not how this is gonna work, but I would almost, like, actually appreciate it if he just keeps showing up, like, intermittently throughout the entire rest of the game from here on. Oh yeah, that would be <laughs> cool. You start fighting Dio, and you defeat Dio, and then he just fucking pops up as the final boss. <laughs> yeah, they open up Dio's coffin, and wait, Curse of Devo's in there? What the? <laughs> I just want to say, look at Afdol's, like, worried face. It looks like he just smelled a poo. <laughs> <laughs> look at his mouth, especially. Oh. Well, something sneaks around here, and it's fucking Dio and his attitude. <laughs> it's this fucking Moai head, motherfucker.
Oh my god, it would be so fucked up if it was a handsome guy. <laughs> Get... I'm Yellow Temperance, but people call me Handsome Guy. Anyways, it's once again time for the real fight. And our biorhythms are all kinds of fucked. Only Polnareff can attack on the first turn. Oh my god. Also, I gotta say, maybe, you know, like, Dios should stop doing this tarot card business because he's constantly just having the worst luck with it. <laughs> yeah, constantly it's like, ha, I'm really gonna get him this time. It's like, oh no, I healed them. Ugh. Why'd I even put that one in the deck? Oh no, I pulled the tower. That means they get to have an immediate map at where I am at all times. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> they draw the death card. Oh wait, death doesn't mean death and tarot. Damn it. <laughs> oh no, I drew the fool. I guess that's what I am. God. Yellow Temperance just looks like he's flavor blasting us when he attacks. Well, he is. The temperance refers to his attitude, not the flavor. There's a lot of flavor, actually. <laughs> I love the, like, you know, they have all these different animations. I love the ones that are just, like, whiffs. <laughs> Like, it's just like, ugh, I'll do a karate chop or whatever, fine. I like whenever they attack, and it just feels like something out of Rhythm Heaven, like it's like a tap, tap, tap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> No, we can't pan the camera down. Sorry, everyone. Please. Please stop attacking me. <laughs> <laughs> like, to, to, like, comb his hair or, like, what? But anyways, with another staggering four stand users down, I think it's time for us to take a quick break. Man, this, uh, this game is chaos. Things just kind of <laughs> arbitrarily happen to us. I'm expecting <laughs> us to, like, fight characters from, like, part six or something eventually. <laughs> 